Hey, it's Kelly. I am back in Gettysburg now. And we are at our hotel. We're staying at the Quality Inn. Um, this is not where we usually stay, but it's still a very nice little room. I mean, it's Quality Inn. You'll have to see. It's nice. It's clean. It's nice. Whatever. Uh, we're on the second floor. So we're going to stop for a bite of lunch, something really small and quick. But I want to showcase it because it is one of our favorite places to go. And it's right across the street. So one of the the best parts of staying at something like the Quality Inn is because you're in town. I, like I said, I'm on the second floor. So look, at you can like seating and stuff out here. The rooms are cute. Our stuff's kind of piled in there. I don't know if you want to see it. Right across the street is Appalachian Brewing Company. Um, now there is a couple of these. I think there's like four, maybe five of them. There's five of them. Stan's like, I'm going to tell you how many there is of them. Um, and they are kind of all over Pennsylvania but one of them is in Gettysburg it's really cool the food is really good so we're gonna go and check out some appetizers for lunch and I'm gonna share it with you so let's go out by the way because we're staying at the quality hotel normally they have this little breakfast cottage open in the mornings for breakfast it's complimentary it's not open right now they have just grab and go going but they also have the reliance mine saloon and i've never been in there so maybe we can just nose in there in a little while so here it is up close appalachian brewing company there is some outdoor seating over there and the whole indoor but we're gonna head in they're gonna head in without me and then i'm gonna head in apparently here we are up close. Like I said, beautiful outdoor seating. Sometimes I do believe they have fire pits going. There is a window over that way where you can order some grab and go with some beer, things like that. Waitresses do come in and out as well. So this is the outdoor section to sit in. Still very nice, but we're gonna go in there. While we wait for our table, check it out. They have the application spirits, which we haven't gotten to try yet. But they do have some gin, rum, looks like silver vodka. I'm sorry, silver tequila vodka, um, bourbon, and then those cool shirts as well. But this is Appalachian Brewing Company. Here's the higher tables. It's very busy in here today. It's busy in Gettysburg everywhere. But the higher tables, the bar is over there with all the different beers on tap. Sometimes they do have different like wines. It looks like ooh, they have Jack Hard Cider here. They have some cool like options on top of theirs. I see the mugs that you can use. I think it's, I don't, I don't know the whole mug thing. So I'm like, it's a club with a mug. I'll figure it out. But our table's ready. So let me head right back over. We get a seat outside in the little area here. So, view of the road, view of our hotel that's over there. Like I said, people are coming in and out, it is, and the sun is kind of right in my face right now, but let me show you the menu. So this is the brew pub, the brew pub menu for the Gettysburg Appalachian Brewing Company. They have some really cool appetizers. These chips are like the best thing in the world. They have tater tots, cauliflower wings, pierogies, nachos, pretzels, they have salads with signature dressing. They actually have a root beer barbecue ranch. There's soups. I see that campfire chili. That's actually very good as well. Bowls, handhelds, and they do have wings, which are also very, very good. 
And of course their burgers, which are up this way. Quesadillas and tacos. They have quite the menu. They have desserts. You see that elephant ear? That thing is amazing. Ooh, pumpkin praline. That sounds great too. But yeah, there's their classics with everything they have. Is great options. So we got drinks. We got some Sprite. We got a zombie apocalyptic something or other ale. ale. <laughs> <laughs> Stan gets the good beers and I don't listen to what he gets but I knew the word zombie and I'm like you're getting a zombie beer that sounds great but I'm gonna try it except I can't drink the beers um, as much as I used to be able to I get too full and I actually do end up feeling not very good the next day but I, I love beer so it's been hard because I do real especially craft beers in places like this but I do like to at least try so this is that zombie beer they had for Halloween. We're gonna try it. It smells so good. It smells like it has like a hoppy smell to it. So to me, that smells like like a grapefruit or sometimes like a pineapple. I don't know, like that citrusy smell. And that's what it tastes like too. So it's not like too harsh or stingy or. I don't even have the word for it. It's nice, but it has a citrus flavor to it. Like a citrus note, a citrus ending. That's very nice. I would be able to even drink that whole thing. Um, I won't, but yeah, that that's a great beer. It has beautiful color to it. If you didn't see, I gave it back. <laughs> and I'm like, no, no, wait. Beautiful color to it as well. If you can see that. It's sitting in the sun. Let me show you that way. Because, I mean, it'll do justice. And you get to see my drink as well. Look at the beautiful color of that beer. I have like a rum punch that she threw together. Look at that clear color of that Sprite. It's amazing. <laughs> but let me tell you about this rum punch. The rum punch. It wasn't on the menu, but they asked because they do have a fully loaded bar here. Um, yay. <laughs> I asked if they can make one. They're like, absolutely. So I got this. It's so sweet. You don't have, again, that super bad alcohol taste at all. It's a dangerous rum punch. I could drink a lot of those. I won't. <laughs> but I want to. Um, yeah, that is a great drink. It was really, really well made. It is a super girly drink. So if you're one of those that needs that sweet, girly, taste more juice than alcohol drink, this is for you. Um, yeah, so both are two really good options. Another great option here is the Jolly Scott. That is one of my most favorite beers that I think I've ever had. And it's here. And yeah, that, that's a great one as well. But let's wait for our food to come out. We got the blue cheese chips. We have wings coming out in two different types of flavors. We got a smoky tangy, smoky and sweet and smoky, and a garlic parm. And Ava got the Boo Boo Burger, which is like a burger with like pulled pork barbecue on it and cheese. And it was supposed to have coleslaw, but she actually asked for no coleslaw. And then she got sweet potato fries as well. So as soon as that all comes out, oh, and cheddar ale soup. So I'm so glad we have a peanut gallery here to, you know, yell from this side while we vlog. So, yay. So these are the blue cheese chips the balsamic blue cheese chips so they're handmade chips with a blue cheese sauce and a balsamic drizzle these things are phenomenal the chips are crunchy yeah I see what's going on there so the chips are excellent crispy that blue cheese drizzle along with the balsamic drizzle these are a great shareable. I don't like to share them. I, I, I will share them, but I don't like to share them. They are fantastic, though. Um, these are always a crowd pleaser. These are our ring. These are our wings in the smoky sweet, and the parm garlic stands over there eating his soup. If you can see it, I don't want to like reach over everything. And then Ava got a burger, and she got sweet potato fries, and she's making a friend. <laughs> that won't go away. 
so we've tried a little bit of everything. Again, chips are always excellent. I will devour that whole bowl. That is one of my favorite things to get in Gettysburg are those balsamic blue cheese chips. So if it never leaves that menu, I will be devastated. Um, on top of that, the wings have been very good. They're crispy. They're bigger wings, lots of meat. I tried the smoky, sweet and smoky. You can never think of that, sweet and smoky. Um, slight smoke, lots of sweet. It's very good wing. Um, garlic parm is excellent too. Stan soup is actually very good. It has like bacon and cheese. Um, it's a nice creamy mixture of that, and especially because it's a beautiful day, but it's slightly chillier here. Gettysburg is one of the best places to come for soup, and that is good soup. So, everything so far has been, as always, just fantastic. I forgot to mention, and uh, I hope these people don't mind, but their dogs are gorgeous. The outside section of, of here, of Appalachian Brewing Company, there's some more puppies coming this way too, um, is dog friendly. So they do have some bowls with some water down below for your dog to get a drink. And you can bring your dog to the outdoor section only. And actually, like I said, where I'm sitting, which is still considered outdoor, it's throughout here. Yeah, throughout here. Yeah, look how beautiful it looks out there right now. That sun going down. They do have Edison lights, so they will end up lighting up here soon. If you like our adventure today at Appalachian Brewing Company on the battlefield in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, because there's two here. So this is the battlefield Appalachian Brewing Company. Give me a big thumbs up. Comment below. What do you think you try here? Would you try that elephant here? Because we've tried that before and it was amazing. Subscribe and ring that bell to be, stay informed of future notifications because we're not done yet. We have the rest of the night and all day tomorrow yet in Gettysburg to bring you more places to try while you're here. We are focusing on downtown places to go, places to eat, places to see. So ring that bell to stay informed of all that. And until we eat again, stay geeky.